for those who don't even know. Shit, we on the south right now. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Rizzo Avery. Cool ass. That's yeah. it. You know like what? it. No, Let them know. Right. Yeah. So then let me ask you this like, how long you been doing music right now so far? Shit, I've been doing music since I was going to gas, nigga. So that probably like third grade, nigga. That's man. I'm an OG. Yeah. I'm an OG. I'm a veteran. Yeah. A good veteran. Can't hide you. Yeah, Nice. <laughs> so even then, like, what? How'd you even find music as far as wanting to actually put music out to other people and whatnot? With what everybody doing it, even back in the day, we're just doing it for fun or something like that. Like, what made you want to be the one to take it serious? Well, shit, man. I, I grew up. I grew up in it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they grew up in the church. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know, run the piano, drum, shit like that. And really. I was going to Gaston, man, and the nigga used to be on the bus, and he used to be this boy on the bus. The nigga used to be listening to Eminem and shit. And the nigga say, hey, let me get them, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me let you hear a song or whatever. He probably like three grades older, three grades up. I'm like, you know, I fuck with him. I ended up listening to the shit, and I'm like, this shit different. Remind you, bro, I ain't listen to rap, man. I was just Neo Soul. Real? I was just, that's it, bro. Neo Soul R&B. Like, that's the type of wave I was raised on, you know what I'm saying? Got so, you. They knew niggas, they knew they got catch up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they knew they got yeah. catch up, because yeah. I, I, I ain't just a rapper all that shit. But yeah, right. but yeah, he, you know, he put up, you know, I put his little part of my, uh, he had one. We mm. got him listening, and nigga just ended up just falling in love, bro. He just started writing, I'm asking him what he doing, he telling me he writing a song. I'm like, shit, how'd you write? You write a song. I learned that shit in third grade, man. For real. On a bus. Damn. That's how I learned how to do music. <laughs> From my, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me let me put something in this too. From a white boy. Right. Mm. Yeah. Man. Interesting. So even then, when you started on um, making the music, did you already know which lane you want to take as far as with the singing or just the rapping or? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. Man, the nigga was so confused, bro. I'm talking about bro. At first, I thought I wanted to be this real hard nigga, bro. I wanted to be the hardest, street nigga, rapper. <laughs> real. Boy, I'm talking about hitting yeah. niggas in the head with a chopper and uh, <laughs> slicing body parts with machetes. And so shit. you want to listen to Eminem no more after that? <laughs> yeah. See, after that, I was on. See, that's when I started figuring. I started learning about the old rappers and shit, about like right. and about pocket shit. And I'm hearing pop hit them up and shit. First off, fuck your bitch and the click your claim. West side, whoop. boy, that shit had me mad. I'm angry. I'm angry at the same time. You did it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Right. But I mean. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> she had to be rolling in my head. Yeah. Bro, laughing. Hey, that's why you on camera. But look. <laughs> you know, I started off. I started off on some other shit. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know. What I'm doing now, I had to, I had, yeah. to learn. I had to learn how to goddamn keep that shit, you know, keep that shit in order. Like I had to learn how to like stick with the singing shit mm -hmm. and make sure that I not master it, but make sure that I know enough about it. Go to the rap, look up shit. I'm talking about open a dictionary, dirty. I'm talking about like actually look shit up on the internet, bro. Like ask people questions, like. Right. That's the type of wave niggas on. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. study that shit, man. Study yeah. that shit. Like study who you study who you mimicking and shit. All these right. songs that y'all niggas saying, those old songs, bro, they just revamping all of them. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is, bro. When you come with that originality, nigga, that's some shit that people gonna remember from you. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So then let me fast forward to it then. Like once you start like finding your actual sound and whatnot, what you actually want to talk about, like mm -hmm. How did people even start reacting when you start putting it out there to them or whatnot? At first, it was on some shit like he don't look like he don't look like he yeah. sound. You feel me? Yeah. And at first, it was like nah, nah, that ain't bro. Until the nigga get the you know get the rapping or get the singing, and they be like, damn, this really bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, like, he don't look like bro. So at first, people. I felt like people rock with it, but like, you know, at that time, my brother Keem, shout out to my nigga, that young nigga Keem from Cobb Village, A got down. He had more buzz in the uh, in the time than I did. So it's like, 
at first they heard me, but you know, they still rocking with Big Bruh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then that's when me and Big Bruh started to get our charisma together and start making bangers together. That's when they started like really listening. Like, yeah. oh shit, this nigga know how to do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at first, it, yeah, it was a, uh, it was neglection. You had to go through that stage. I feel like every rapper, every artist, they mm -hmm. gotta go through that stage, you know? That neglection stage, well. Right. I just feel like folks ain't fucking with them at first and then you get the bubbling and shit. Right. So, <laughs> my bad though. But even like, um, I want to say, all right, so then you start putting the music out there to him and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, even then, like, with your voice and everything like that, and with the music that you was even putting out there, like, did you even get, like, comparisons or contraction? Like, but I done got, man, I, I done got compared to Mario, I done got compared to August Alcina. Who was I nigga I compared to? Nigga that compared me. Like Janice. Bro, like Janice. Nigga that compared me to uh, J. Cole. Nigga that compared me to Kendrick Lamar. Folks, no. It's like people just, if they find somebody, bro. Yeah. Just somebody. I'd be like, damn, like, that. But I mean, I respect that, though. I respect yeah. that, though. Because that lets me know that they like it. You see what I'm saying? That lets me know that they like it.